The White House is going to seem a little more like home for the first family this Christmas because the local choir has been selected to perform at the White House's annual holiday open house. Yeah, that choir is from Palatine High School and they're already practicing their hearts out. WGN's Marcus Lashock visited the school today for a listen. From O'Brightly, ready and go. O'Brightly shone the moon that night, though the bright was cruel. In his nine years as the choir director at Palatine High School, Steve Sivak has taken his students all over the world. Right against the Go oh, here, there is. That's twice in Agnes There you go. But just a few days ago, they received their biggest honor yet. That evening, we had our holiday concert, our, our first major performance where all the groups performed and before we sang the last number I announced it. I almost fell off the riser. It was a surprise for everyone so when he told us I almost fell. 52 student singers will be traveling to the nation's capital to perform at the White House this Monday. They'll be joined by 40 more of their peers to cheer them on. Just the fact that we could even being considered to sing at the White House is an amazing achievement and being able to actually sing, the, sing there it's just blows my mind. Students credit CVAC with their choir's success. He brings years of experience into the classroom, a resume that includes everything from performing on cruise ships to live musical theater. I try to keep the bar pretty high, pretty, pretty high standards. And I think when you do that and kids feel good about the work that they're doing, they're willing to work a lot harder. Hey, good job. During Thursday morning's practice, the students were sitting, standing, and even lining up on the school's staircases. The acoustics in the small space allow them to hear their own voices while singing. hour long, the choir was rehearsing their big White House numbers. As usual, Sivak is never hesitant to stop the harmony and tell it like it is. I have to see the B happening. You just can't sing Abe. You're the only ones that are singing that. Okay? But that needs to be in tune. Okay? Good. I think after doing this kind of work for a little while, you start to hone in on things that you would like to hear and you start hearing them in your own head. And then I just try to express that to the kids and we talk it through. Both Seaback and his students are making sure every note is perfect. After all, you never know who they might run into next week. Let's say the president does walk in while this is going on. What will happen then? Um, first, my jaw will drop like tremendously, <laughs> and I might not be able to focus, but that's fine. And then I'll look at Mr. Seaback, and he'll probably be like, "Focus!" And so I'll be like, "Okay, but Obama's right over there." Right. So then I'll be like, "Hi, Obama!" And I keep singing. <laughs> Palatine High School Choir will be leaving for the White House this Saturday. No word on who they will be performing for just yet, but I will have a full report for you up on my blog at chicagonow.com slash LaShock, along with some extra video of these guys singing. you got to see it. Reporting for Palatine, Marcus LaShock, WGN News. They sound great. Unbelievable. <laughs> yeah. Here's the breaking Let's news. Let's hope they don't freeze up, though. Here's the breaking news, though. They actually have an invitation oh, to the White House. Yeah. Something rare these days. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'd that's that. that's going to do it for us at 5 o'clock. I'm Lourdes Duarte. I'm Mark Sapel, so we're back again here at 9 o'clock. Hope to see you then. Have a good evening. Bye-bye.